Today we are in Proverbs 7, and we're looking at 1 to 4, and we're just going to pull out a few little nuggets. There's so many really, really rich things in this. And let's look at the Amplified Bible and the Passion. Amplified Bible says, keep my words. Verse 1, keep my words. The Passion says, stick close to my instructions. Okay, treasure my commands within you. Why? Why does God say that? Is it because God's legalistic? Is it because he's controlling? Is it because he wants to lay down the law? No. He goes on, he says, so they are readily available to guide you. It's to help you out. It's not to control your life. It's not to steal your joy. It's because God knows in life you're going to face hard places. You're going to face pitfalls and you're going to need wisdom. And you have not lived as long as God. He has wisdom. He knows all the um, all the scientific things that hold the world together, all the laws of nature. He knows all the laws of man. He knows the intents of man. And so he says, keep my words close to you. Keep my instructions. He, and, you know, he goes, he says, tie it around your wrist, bind it around the tablets of your heart. And why is he saying that? So that his word, his instruction is so close to you that when you hit something, when you have this pitfall, when you're hiking along and you stumble, you know, you're like, ah, you know, God says, my word is here to catch you. You don't have to fall. The Passion Translation says, if you do what I say, you will live well. Guard your life with my revelation truth. And when I read that in the Passion, my revelation truth, wow, my heart just jumped alive because it implies daily sitting at his feet and getting downloads from heaven, you know, because truth is one thing, but revelation truth, that means I not just understand it, but God has like shined the spotlight on it and made it so real to me, so aware. And and I love when God does that. It's such a wonderful thing. But you know when it happens? When we take time to sit at his feet. When we take time to just be aware of him around us. And Isaiah 54, 13, it says, And your children will be taught by the Lord, and great will be their peace. So that's a heritage that we have for our children, for us, that we would be taught by the Lord. He's going to be the one that teaches us, and we will have great peace. And 1 John 2, 27, it says, it talks about how the Holy Spirit is in you to teach you all things. And in the Passion, it says, for his teaching is as precious as our eyesight. And when I read that, I just I just said, Lord, you know, that makes so much sense. Because if I don't have your truth, I can't see correctly. But when you reveal your truth to me, Holy Spirit living inside of me, you shine your light on the truth, I can see clearly. You know, and that's such a beautiful thing. And David says in Psalms 119, I love the heart of David. He says, your word, God, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. So if I know your word, if I know your commands, if I know your precepts, then I won't grieve you. And yesterday we talked about the things that God hates. If I know what God hates, I can be intentional about not doing those things. So friend, going the second mile, be that person who keeps the word close to your heart. I don't mean you just walk around holding a Bible, but you devour the word of God, that you memorize it, that you, like David, you hide it in your heart. If you didn't have a Bible tomorrow, if you lost your version Bible app, would, would you die spiritually? Or do you have the word of God hidden inside of you for such a time as this? I pray, friend, that you're hiding the word of God in your heart. Daniel eleven thirty two. it's one of my favorite verses. I quote it a lot. And, and, and Daniel says, they that know their God will be strong and do great exploits. For knowing our God comes from meditating in his word, sitting at his feet, and hiding his word in our heart. Know your God. Be strong and do great exploits. And when you hit rough places, his word that's in you, it will guide you. It will support you. And he said, I, I will hold you by my righteous right hand. He will not let you fall. He is so good. And you can count on him.